sip of tea while we're coming live. There we are. Nice. Hi everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is March 1st, 2021. How time flies. And this is our drop in math tutoring session number 71 or so. <laughs> We're numbering at 71, but who knows where we are. We've been doing this for a while and uh, producing videos for, you know, 15, 16 years now, I guess. So uh, 15 years probably. So we've been at this for a while. Uh, we're playing the long game and uh, it's basically let's just do a little mathematics open discussion mainly focus around high school math and uh, we have done a lot of these and for the last couple of streams what we've done is uh, we've been doing some basic algebra uh, just starting at the ground level to a certain degree at the ground level if you're starting off from a certain branch we start talking about um, just negative numbers in general and then last stream um, that's two streams ago we started talking about negative numbers and then last stream we sort of went through adding mul subtracting multiplying and dividing and talked about those basic operations and uh, if people want to continue on that theme we can start talking about uh, how to move around an equal sign extremely important dr soviet seven how are you doing welcome to a mathematics live stream i hope you're doing well and while we wait for people to drop by and uh, it's an open discussion so almost anything goes and um almost anything goes <laughs> politics off <laughs> off limits i guess just because we have to uh, load this on sensor tube as well so we don't want to put something in this full live stream that's gonna uh, that we're not gonna be able to load on sensor tube and while we wait for people to roll in let me give you my intro as to what this is all about I am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o I don't put anything beyond paywalls everything's Creative Commons share and share like so you can follow the work there and after following the work for a while if you like what you see a fantastic way to support this project is through patreon and if you hang around long enough you'll find out that everything's layered on mathematics almost everything's layered on mathematics right and for those of you who've been supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support gang it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this and i'm sort of doing the calculus and slowly going to be rolling out more and more uh, of the branches of things that we've talked about over the years um, as more and more sport comes in that way I can start focusing on this more on a full-time basis and we'll see where that goes and how fast we roll all that stuff out we've already started right and we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in these live streams in the chat twitch is where you want to be at and for those of you who have been supporting this work on twitch gang thank you for the support thank you for being here thank you for the subs thank you for the follows thank you for the bits thank you for the points thank you for the conversations and mods thank you for taking care of business i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor lo minds vk gab and twitter and we do have a discord page social you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want type in exclamation mark social and all the links will pop up and at the bottom there there's our discord link where people are sharing a fair bit of information and we do have a math folder there as well where sometimes people are starting to ask questions of how to do things and whatnot and there are other folders that we have that are mathematics related a few of them okay and uh we will not be uploading the audio for the sound <laughs> live stream to soundcloud because we're not recording on a lapel mic and we do have visuals but for live streams where we don't have any visuals audios go to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o as a podcast and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes slick mick 99 how you doing not sure if you ever did it chicho or if you can remember but i have been doing uh, matrices yeah i did uh, 
if uh, if agent vac vectors agent vectors and agent value eigen oh eigen that's right oh my god i forgot about eigen values wow wow i've done that stuff forever eigen vectors and eigen values and man they are tough so it's great to relax and just enjoy the beauty of math here awesome and the matrices are are relatively easy uh slick make i can't remember eigen values and eigen vectors really this was we're talking 30 years 30 years ago 30 years ago that i did this stuff but the matrices and determinants i ended up actually teaching myself that before i even took the course because i had taken um differential equation uh, applied mathematics that i needed matrices and determinants and i didn't know it so i taught all that stuff to, uh, to myself uh, through a book that i have and i found it really easy uh, it took a few chapters of reading to get the feel for it and then all of a sudden it just went blink click and then when I took the course I got like you know 96% or something in the course um, if you're really struggling with it let me know I'll see what I can do to do a preliminary reminder to myself of how to do them and I can definitely talk about determinants and matrices eigenvalues vectors i can't even remember when they're used what they are or anything i would have to do some serious review for that felix bestow how are you doing how did you show haven't been getting notifications on twitch for a while good to be back oh that's unfortunate um hopefully twitch is not doing what sensor tube is doing which is not sending out notifications to creators that they deem to be disruptive innovation and going against uh, their authority and sharing information that they do not want shared uh, i hope that is not the case if it is join our discord page and i believe discord is sending out the notifications uh felix i got the notification for this while watching your mosh pit story about the big <laughs> guy and the girl doing going against the flow on the mosh pit cool stuff it was super cool man it was it was beautiful to witness i'll never forget that imagery never ever ever right and for those uh those of you um that don't know the story i put out a video of this regarding um it was basically metal music and mosh pit and the story was me uh when i was at a dillinger escape plan con uh, show i believe it's dillinger escape plan with animals as leaders opening up and someone else and uh the one like mosh pits are depending on the mosh pit but they could be an amazing experience right uh the calm common common <laughs> well the collective mentality of what they're about i was absolutely brilliant and at this one mosh pit i was right on the line where people are and there's multiple styles of mosh pit going around and around and around and around right and uh, there's different people that interact with a pit differently right and these two people stood out to me at that time and it was rare to see these two different extreme styles of uh, moshing that uh, you can see and one of the guys one of the people interacting with a mosh pit was because the mosh pit has a, a has a rotation to it right sometimes this way sometimes that way sometimes you just switch it up right switch bam, boom boom and the mosh pit was going and this really big tank guy like he was solid like this guy was a if if, if you, uh, you everybody knows this type of build of a person that they're like a rock right like a wall so he didn't go with the pit he stood there while while the current went against him and it was like boom boom being hit and he was loving it because i i doubt very much if he's if he ever encounters that kind of uh contact often uh because you'd be a fool to try to engage physically with a wall <laughs> right so he was just like boof, 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 and he big gigantic smile on his face right so he was loving this thing and right across from basically he, sometimes at the same time sometimes different sometimes a girl would show up and the guy so he was on the rotation of the current on this side right so he was on the rotation this is mathematics right so here's the pit going like this right so this is the wall this is the rock this is the tank right 
I'd be standing, like literally, I was standing like this far away from the guy. And across from him is, and I think rotation might have been going that way. I can't remember now, right? And across from him, right? So this guy's just standing there. And across from him is a girl, right? And the girl's not going with the rotation. Girl's going against the rotation. So the girl, her, is going this way while the wave is going this way. And she was like, she she was a little girl. She couldn't stand there. So she was like fighting her way. She had boots on, combat boots on and stuff, fighting her way upstream. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sometimes she get knocked down. People put their hands up, lift her up, and she'd do it again, right? And again with her, I doubt it if she experiences something like that outside of the pit, right? It's a way to let out your energy that you need to let out. It's healthy for you. And it was brilliant to see. It was brilliant to see. So that was a story. That was a mosh pit story that I shared. I'm glad you liked that, man. That was fun. Uh, it's, uh, lacking of lack of carrying slick make are you working on intro level matrix algebra or higher level uh, stuff because I might be able to help awesome Graham does anyone in here have 3.5 million dollars laying around for me to open the school <laughs> awesome I love it this is slick mix talking to each other awesome uh, wow that's a serious name XD I have no idea how to pronounce that. You probably just need to have it explained by someone else. Matrices and stuff are not really that complicated. They're not. You need to exercise and approach it from your right uh, right way and and you'll find it easy. Yeah, agree. <laughs> oh my God, it wasn't me selling. <laughs> Fun. How many people per a second did she move out? Uh, they weren't running. They're like, and they're like people hitting each other, right? Bah, boom. There's a beautiful rhythm to it, right? And she was like, and sometimes she would do this, right? Sometimes she would get pushed back. The wave would be too strong and she would end up here. And then she'd fight her way, fight her way, push her way through to here. And then, and then obviously she would run out of energy like she's exhausted by the time she gets here and the wave carries her the current carries her back so it's it, incredible incredible very i was very happy to witness that right man it's been years since i've caught a live stream here zipper beans gamey how are you doing awesome to be off of sensor 2 for a change yeah brother crazy yeah uh, teacher question uh, are publicly uh, uh, publicity stunts inherently bad no not necessarily I don't think so I don't think so and gang we will be uploading this live stream to sensor to to bit shoot to rumble and we don't have enough points yet but at some point we'll start uploading to Odyssey and if you're on those platforms you want to support this work you can like you can share you can comment you can subscribe and if you're on sensor tube you can join sensor tube membership and there's a handful of you that are supporting this work uh, on that platform thank you very much for the support gang this collective support is the reason that we're able to do what it is that we are doing and i thank you very much for that and uh, let me take these guys down uh yeah publicity stunts no Graham. no i at some point i contemplating i mentioned this before I contemplating to put myself on a map my the mathematics that I was teaching the graffiti style ASMR mathematics the videos that I was making in 2007 2008 at some point I talked to some friends uh, and uh, I mentioned to them I never did this I mentioned to them that I might hit them up to give me a hand with these videos because I was gonna bring some dancing girls and you know I was uh, just for those of you that don't know uh, in 2007 2008 2007 I believe I started uploading math videos on uh, on sensor tube and daily motion and Vimeo I hit up three platforms at the same time when I was doing this to see which one was the better platform to host my material to ex grow the library right and sensor tube was it and now it's no longer the best location there's 
uh, rumble and bit shoot going on right now. And sensor tube is still good, but for mathematics, for a lot of other stuff, we can't. And for mathematics, uh, independent content, independent educators are now relegated. They're being shadow banned in large part, right? So sensor tube is even hit the education platform where independent educators are no longer it's not it's no longer organic right sensor tube decides who they're going to promote and they're going to promote Khan Academy and this person and that person and that person any institution centralized education center that is promoting the central powers ideology right which I'm not but at some point because I wanted to uh, just try different things was I talked to some friends and I I asked them if uh, I was gonna bring them in and uh, I mentioned this to them that basically I would set up a tripod and find walls in the cities and do mathematics on walls graffiti style with really big chalk and I wanted them to start doing can can girl dancing come across behind us right that's a public stunt that's promoting mathematics I'd be 100% into that right and gang don't forget Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org or check out our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on censor too, because that is one thing I will not be censoring uh, from censor tube. Graham, hmm, that's an interesting perspective. Yeah, it was. Uh, it is what it is right and it's not a it's not a publicity stunt if you enjoy what it is that you're doing right like I wouldn't do if I was gonna do publicity stunt I wouldn't do something silly that I don't get a kick out of it right it would have to be something authentic as far as I'm concerned but I'm totally okay with that why not you have it's it is we still have to compete as independent creators with giants like these huge multinational conglomerates right that monopolize information so you know and if you believe you can help people out why not that's the thing I just wonder how to get noticed how to get noticed and by the way Graham is an educator and he believes in decentralized education and he's a very good educator okay and he's trying to uh, build an audience uh, build content to help people learn whatever it is they want to help right and right now is a difficult thing to do however this is something a transitional period I believe okay because sensor tube seriously they're 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 not allowing information to grow organically anymore that's a that's a given they, f they first did this with news current events and stuff like this and one of the other places they start hitting hitting it was education which was to me which was insane right which goes to show that they don't want the citizens of nations to become educated to become independent free-thinking human beings because if people became free-thinking human beings they wouldn't consume the garbage that they're producing right MC Mike are you doing morning everyone I love the math live streams today I'm working on a discrete math counting nice differential equations Ooh. and vector multivariant calculus <laughs> fun vector calculus I found fun and vector calculus uh, or vector I would say just vectors let's see if, what pens we have it might be time for a new pens uh, grab I really think hard about everything and I just feel like I'm young enough and driven enough for a high risk high reward play uh, the more I think about it the more I'm interested in shooting uh, for the moon but shoot for the moon Graham but don't burn your bridges okay shoot for the moon but don't burn your bridges if you're shooting for the moon make sure there's if things don't work out the right way make sure that doesn't prevent you from doing anything else okay um but persistence is the key man like and don't worry about if you're not growing as fast as some people like seriously Graham brother when I was producing my work I was producing like really 
phenomenal work. Like in terms of teaching mathematics, the the language of mathematics series that I put out with the chalk graffiti, doing urban style, cutting it to hip hop music, cutting it to different music, doing editing, having pop up, like no one was producing anything like that. Like no one. People would check out my videos on sensor tube. They'd be going, damn why do you only have like 3,000 followers I mean right now we're sitting at like 33,000 or something or 30,000 let's say right even now people are like damn why you only have 30,000 well we're all, I'm only at 30,000 because sensor tube there's no way they're gonna promote me right back then as well they weren't really promoting my mathematics the content that I created there was nothing else like it absolutely nothing else like it and it was fantastic for anyone who wanted to learn mathematics the people who saw my work they were blown away sometimes i run into people in my town they would go oh my god you're chicho you produce those math stuff so good so right and then people check on my channel they're like you got three thousand followers that's it like what the hell i was like it is what it is man i'm doing this for the love of it and i'll kick up at some point i'm in it for the long game right Graham, be in it for the long game forget about these sound bites these these technocrats or are, are dragging people into or trying to make people uh convince them that that's the mindset they need the big lift it's a slow progression it's got to be a lifestyle change for you it has to be a lifestyle change and lifestyle changes seldom happen overnight and if they happen overnight something's breaking right and it's okay to break things to change your lifestyle overnight but it's, it's a pretty dangerous game that you're going to be playing if you're going to burn bridges without really prepping the platforms that you're going to be going into right mc mike it is it's very cool very cool indeed vectors elder god chicho running around vancouver drawing on walls yeah yeah it was awesome sometimes i'll be out you know i'd be I, I and i would have to stake out locations first right like sometimes i go staking out sometimes i would just go for long walks for a whole day uh if i see a wall i hit it up and then i thought i could do sometimes i didn't i wouldn't hit any walls i was like ah oh, i didn't hit anything today i had my stuff prepped so one time i went and did things on a tree <laughs> Graham chicho i don't think i'm gonna be uh, burning any bridges along the way really i just feel in my gut then now is the time to try try it out Graham. yeah just try it out just have a safety net really uh, safety net is underrated because if you're gonna go full on the odds are you haven't done the calculations for how everything's gonna play out and you can't right you just as you know the best way to get something done is to do it the best way to learn is to do right so if you feel it's the best time to try it do it man if you want if you're going to try publicity stunt try publicity stunt uh whatever if, if your passion your heart is in it uh, it can't really be that wrong uh, unless you know i don't want to steer you in the wrong direction but all i know is this is the way i've done it and uh it, it was difficult dude i had to like for me just to let you know i I went full load without the finances like sensor tube wasn't generating money at the time when i was doing this stuff people were asking me how much time have you spent on this i go oh god hundreds of hours <laughs> hundreds upon hundreds of hours of work they're like how much have you how much are you getting money I'm, i go i made zilch zero the patreon was around then every now and then i get a little donation coming in through paypal or something but it wasn't i wasn't doing this for the money of it i was doing it because it was a calling if you want to think about it that way matt jer how are you doing hello hello welcome to matt live stream that we're sort of talking about education to a certain degree and how to deal with uh passions right Graham, i tell my students to pursue their dreams i want to be willing to demonstrate that i really believe it i'm confident in my safety net done deal yeah and you can pursue your dreams for sure for sure and that's what i did right i wanted to be and it wasn't a dream really i don't know if it was a dream was it a dream uh, it's just it wasn't yeah for me it wasn't a dream it's just something i needed to do something i had to do 
there was a platform uh, technology was there even though if it was it was a rough right like YouTube came online in 2005 and I created my account then right the first video I had to learn how to edit I had to learn how to shoot video I the first time I ever went on video trying to put something out was my first language of mathematics language of mathematics video number one and it's a rough one I'm sitting there going what do I do talking to a camera like like it was difficult right but for me it wasn't a dream to do that it was a means to teach mathematics and to empower people initially by the way Graham and I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before but people used to ask me what is it that you want to do Chicho and I said that I'm gonna build an army of mathematicians and take over the world <laughs> literally this is what I would because people people after a while people didn't understand what I was doing I'm like man I'm making math videos I'm teaching math online and people are like duh, 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 duh. oh what's the end goal what's the end goal I'm like the end goal I'm doing the end goal I'm teaching mathematics and trying to empower people right because I think centralized education is garbage is destroying our society and it's sort of a self-preservation type so I would go off on this and I've talked about this right and then people still didn't get it so I simplified it for them Chicho what are you trying to do I'm gonna build an army of mathematicians and take over the world and then I would laugh ha 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 and by the way I still mean to do that right <laughs> Graham, I may have said that before too. I think so. Uh, have you, Graham? Have you? Awesome. <laughs> I'll join that cause. MC Mike says, awesome, awesome. Quote the same thing we do every day. Try to take over the world. Ah, this uh, the pinky in the brain. Awesome, pinky in the brain. By the way, pinky in the brain is fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> the same thing we do every day try to take over the world awesome awesome my kids don't get the reference but it makes me laugh yeah me too <laughs> and it's, I'm amazed they don't get the reference this generation right now actually every generation pinky in the brain should be should be in in everybody's psyche because it is timeless really pinky in the brain is timeless so is uh well there's a few that are timeless there are a few that are timeless there are a few that are timeless but pinky in the brain is definitely timeless <laughs> my kids don't get the reference but it makes me laugh oh man i wish i was a fly on the wall in your classroom when you say it i'd be laughing so hard i'd be laughing so hard so hard what about the mathematics gang what about the mathematics are we gonna do mathematics and I got this is like I got one more of these squares this is a square this big that I make my chocolate chip cookies Chicho chocolate chip cookies this is uh, let's see if I'll focus oh is it gonna do it 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 poor camera doesn't know what this is oh, 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 oh. come on come on you can do it maybe I think in what it needs is me holding the sucker up this is the last bit of chocolate chip cookies is it gonna get it this close up I don't think so there it is whole wheat flour with coconut oil chocolate chips fig coconut flakes and organic organic um, organic cane sugar and honey very yummy <laughs> very yummy you sent me a little something in discord okay grab awesome I'll look it up after the after the stream or later on today I have some students I have to uh, talk to today 
Should we talk about the equal sign? Let's talk about the equal sign. Okay. Because two streams ago, we talked about how to deal with positive and negative numbers. Last math stream, we talked about adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. Let's take that into the equal sign, right? Because someone came up a couple of streams ago, math streams ago, and asked us if we could cover some basic algebra. And maybe they couldn't make it on this live stream. So let's cover that because once you know how to move around an equal sign, then you can almost, you know, do anything you want, really. Uh, you just build on that. That's where the core base of algebra begins, right? Honey and coconut. So good. Let's see how this is. Oh, yeah, that's coming out nice. We do it in red. Okay. Now, the thing with the equal sign is this, right? I meet a lot of people that say, you know, they want equality in the world. They want sustainability in the world. They, 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 they believe the world is unjust. They, they, they talk about a lot, a lot of social issues, a lot of economic issues, a lot of political issues, and all that jazz, right? But they don't really understand that what they're talking about, what the base of what it is they're talking about is mathematics. Because as soon as they start talking about equality and system sustainability and all that jazz they're talking about the equal sign right they're talking about this symbol right here they're saying they want equality this side equal this side they want sustainability this side equals this side right that's what they're talking about sustainability means what you're taking out of the earth you're putting at least as much back into the earth right sustaining right they're talking about maintaining a budget they're talking about the equal sign right they want to be economically independent they're talking about the equal sign how much you earn should be at least right equivalent to how much you spend as soon as you start spending more than you earn you're in the negative you're not financially independent you're in debt right so anyone talking about financial independence they're they're really talking about the equal sign anyone talking about the environment sustainability they're talking about the equal sign anyone that's talking about social justice is really supposed to be talking about the equal sign but unfortunately what i find is a lot of people are illiterate in the language of mathematics so everything that they're talking about on this level has a limit to where they can take it because they don't understand that you need to quantify these things to really have that stuff in your life right now for us in the last couple of streams math streams anyway we talked about how to deal with addition subtraction multiplication and division right once we learn how to do these four simple operations and with these four simple operations you can do almost anything you want in mathematics right at least in the real world might maybe not theoretical mathematics but anything that you want to apply to your life as long as you know how to add subtract multiply and divide and move around the equal sign right as long as you know how to do this you can use mathematics to do almost anything you want so let me explain to you what it is when we say we want to move around the equal sign okay. so check this out Let's say we have an expression or an equation that says x is equal to five, right? That's intuitive. That basically says whatever your x is, x is equal to five, okay? And the units here are irrelevant. When we're talking about mathematics, just the language of mathematics, the syntax of the language of mathematics, units do not matter. This could be x 
x is how many comic books i'm going to buy this week is equal to five comic books so comic books would be my units right comic books x could be how many cookies i've eaten i ate yesterday and probably more than five but let's say five i'm down to two <laughs> right i made two trades so five could be cookies okay five could be a comic book that i'm buying costs five dollars it could be money it could be time in seconds right and time couldn't be it's sort of a generic unit you would have to specify is it seconds is it minutes is it hours is it years right and different different places where you apply your mathematics may use different units more often than others right so for example if you're in finances you're probably using or you're trying to do personal finance economics you're probably using years not hours you don't look at your investments on an hourly basis if you're looking at them on an hourly basis you're gambling right minutes gambling seconds gambling right so the units really define where you are where you're applying them right but when you're trying to learn mathematics you don't care about the units right the units come into play when you're delving when you're taking mathematics and using it in a system right is it personal finance is it physics is it electrodynamics is it biology is it food is it shopping is it personal finance investing whatever it is right so consider that when you're learning mathematics forget about trying to apply the mathematics right away if you don't know how to syntax works how the language of mathematics works first learn how the language of mathematics works right and it's just basically intuitive rules and then you can apply the mathematics in different places right so for example let's assume we didn't have x equals five let's assume we had this x plus two is equal to five right so we take this guy out so we say x plus two is equal to five well for us when we're trying to do mathematics if we have an equal sign and the equal sign kicks us up into another realm right all of a sudden the equal sign allows us to look at different systems and try to understand different systems right that's the power of the equal sign the equal sign gives us solutions to problems right or questions that we have so when you're dealing with an equal sign if you're trying to solve something right solve for x and the x would be your unknown okay slick mic my favorite question always used to be exponential exponentials graphing the growth of bacteria x yeah i don't know why but the correlation between inputs and outputs and systems always satisfied me yeah exponentials is amazing and it's no longer only the best example is no longer well the best example is still bacteria growth or exponential decay re, radioactive decay it's also in economics right now or our current economic system because there's a lot of exponential growth going on <laughs> right we've talked about this stuff right so whenever you're trying to solve an equation right because this is solving for x solving equation the way you should think about it is your x is your unknown right let's do this in blue let's do this in blue think of x is equal to unknown right so your unknown is what you're trying to find right x marks the spot so when you're trying to solve for x when you're trying to solve for an equation you're trying to get the variable by itself right solve for x means means get the variable by itself right that's what that means 
solve for x means get the variable by itself and by the way some people have a hard time understanding what variable means okay variable means find what the unknown is that can vary right variable is something that can vary that's it and in mathematics usually preliminary mathematics anyway we use letters of the alphabet for the unknown for the variable in this case our variable is x right so solve for x means get the variable or get x by itself that's what solving the equation means right get the variable by itself or get a specific variable by itself right so what do we need to do we need to undo what's being done to it so undo how do you, how do you do this how how do you do this how do you do this do you do this the answer undo what's being done to x or the variable right so let's stay consistent so undo what's being done to the to the variable the variable in this case for us is x so undo what's being done to the variable and here is the thing here's a beautiful thing about mathematics mathematics is very unique in our lives really because for almost almost everything that you can do in math you could undo it in math right so in mathematics almost always whatever you're looking at has an opposite right so the opposite of addition is subtraction the opposite of multiplication is division right those are the four that we're talking about right now the opposite of exponential powers where things are growing are radicals or roots which are really the denominator and exponential but we'll get into that stuff right and we have multiple times through the math videos hundreds of math videos we created on sensor tube so for us to get x by itself we have to undo what's being done to the x to get it by itself right and there's an order of operations here right don't forget the order of operations don't let's put a little note 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 don't forget oops for get the order of operations and what are we talking about with the order of operations bed mass or pet mass or depending on where you are right we're talking about bed mass right brackets exponents division multiplication addition subtraction right now bed mass if you're simplifying expressions which we just we learned how to add subtract multiply and divide we didn't go into simplifying we just went into straight into solving equations simplifying will make sense we'll come back to it okay but let's deal with the equal sign right now so if you're simplifying expressions you go this way if you're solving for equations you go the other way solving right you take care of addition and subtraction first and then multiplication and division and then exponents and then whatever is in the brackets okay in our case we have this thing here right we want to solve for x and get x by itself well what's being done to the x we're adding to to x right so to get x by itself we have to subtract 2 from this side right so if we have x plus 2 is equal to 5 to get rid of this 2 we're going to subtract 2 right now what does the equal sign mean the equal sign 
means this. It means it's a teeter-totter and you always have to keep it equal, balanced. And if you do something on one side, you got to do it to the other side. That's what the equal sign means. It means this side is equal to this side. This side has to remain equal to this side. So if there's anything you're doing to this side, you have to do it to the other side, right? So for us, if we're subtracting two from this side, then we have to subtract two from this side. We have no choice. We have to keep the teeter-totter balanced. If we're adding something here, then we need to add something on this side, right? How do I put this up here? Oh my God, it's going to fall. <laughs> here, we'll do it this way. Here's teeter-totter. If I add a pen on this side, I got to add an equal pen on this side, right? It's a different color. So that's not going to work. Maybe the color weights are different. Two reds, they have to balance. If I don't, if you, if, if I have my teeter-totter and if I add a pen on this side, then this side is going to go down. This side is going to go up. That's not the definition of an equal sign. Definition of an equal sign says, no, if you're starting off with two things that are equal, right? Two sides that are equal. If you add something on this side, you got to add it to this side. That's the concept, right? So if we subtract two from this side, we got to subtract two from that side. And what, what do we do? We go X plus two minus two. Well, positive two and negative two, right? Two minus two, they kill each other. Boink, boink. So what do we have left on this side? We just have X left on this side. Five minus two is three, three. When we get to the end, we got our answer. X equals three. We just solved for X. We solved for our unknown. We isolated the variable. Get the variable by itself. We isolated the variable. Cancellation law of a group. Cancellation law of a group. Slick make my favorite question. Oh, yeah, that's All right. Does that make sense? So let's expand on this. Let's look at more complicated equations or do a couple of more samples of this, right? And we'll talk, we'll incorporate bed mass in there as well. Because bed mass, this thing here, when you're trying to simplify, means simplify one side if you can and simplify the other side if you can before you start moving things around or isolating the variable. And by the way, gang, thank you for the follows. Uh, uh, appreciate them. I'm sorry if I don't recognize them or uh, announce them right away, just because I don't want to lose the train of thought here, right? So let's do more complicated stuff, okay? And if you want to take notes, by the way, gang, all you got to do is just take screenshots of this, right? And then you can just have that as a note. So, let's do this we solve for x when it's x plus 2 is equal to 5 so the question is and this is what the question will be solve for x solve for x now i've seen a lot of schools try to make it more exciting for kids to do mathematics and what they do is change the x to y solve for y or solve for s or solve for w or solve for i think that's fine and dandy because they're trying to get the point across that a variable could be any letter right for me it's it's ridiculous to try to change the letters to try to make it more exciting for kids to be able to solve equations or do algebra it doesn't even have to be a letter it doesn't even have to be a letter right solve for a triangle solve for the triangle there solve for the triangle solve solve for the dude right get the dude by itself whatever it is right for me it's better to add the variation in the questions based on the difficulty of the question instead of the phrasing of the question so i like working with x because to me x marks the spot right so let's do this one x plus seven is equal to four right so we want to get x by itself so undo what's being done to the x what's being done to the x is 
7 is being added to the x, so you subtract 7 from here, you subtract 7 up from here, 7 kills 7, line up the equal sign, on this side you have x by itself, 4 minus 7 is negative 3, right? Nice. Putin roaster, x equals negative 3. I always like the smiley face, <laughs> solve for the smiley face, solve for the happy dude, right? Now for me, I've mentioned this before a few times mathematicians are lazy right especially when they're doing mathematics for me I like things visual and mathematicians are in general very visual right so when I write down x plus 7 is equal to 4 instead of writing minus 7 on this side and minus 7 on this side I think about the adding and subtracting as movements so I grab a positive 7 bring it over and whenever you jump over an equal sign the sign changes, right? So positive seven, when it goes over to the other side, becomes a negative seven. So positive seven has moved. The only thing we have on this side is x, and four minus seven is negative three, right? Here, here's another one. x minus four is equal to three. Well, we gotta get x by itself. This is negative four born no full cities series isis 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 series borno how are you doing welcome to another live stream so you can think about it two ways you can go plus four on this side plus four on this side so x is equal to seven or you can think about it this way here we'll do the same thing here x minus four is equal to three I want to move the 4 plus 4, change the size. Left on this side is x, and this is 7. Okay. Up to you which one you guys want to use. I like doing this. Okay. Easy? Easy. Let's do more variations. The question is still solve for x, right? How about we do this? Are we on number four? Let's say number four. X plus three minus four is equal to seven plus two. Well, we have the equal sign here. We've got things on this side and things on that side. Now, before you start solving for variable, solving for X, isolating a variable, you did it that fast? Yeah, oh, it does too. I have to think about it. <laughs> Do you stream one? Uh, on any other platform I don't stream on any other platform but I upload the videos to sensor tube most of the videos to sensor tube less and less recently sensor tube bit shoot and rumble everything goes to so bit shoot and rumble I upload everything and we upload audios uh, when we don't have visuals to SoundCloud as podcast Ronnie how are you doing Ronnie 90 hello hello right so when you're trying to solve for x isolate the variable i always love math tutoring nice me too right if you're trying to get x by itself instead of i mean theoretically this is you could do this what's being done to the x here well three is being added to x and then you're subtracting four so you could do it in a weird way not a weird way but a long way and go okay I'm going to grab the negative 4, bring it over, it becomes positive 4. I'm going to grab the positive 3, bring it over, it becomes negative 3. Because we're jumping over the equal sign, right? What we have left on this side is just x, and this we just end up doing. 7 plus 2 is 9, plus 4 is 13, minus 3 is 10. Putin Roaster got it, 10, right? Now... That's extra work, right? Grab everything, grab each one individually and bring them over, right? Well, how about doing it this way? And it's faster. X plus three minus four, seven plus two. Same question, right? And not only is it faster, it creates less errors, right? So whenever you're trying to solve for an equation, equal sign, line up your equal sign really mathematics is very visual you want to keep everything tight symmetrical keep it clean do your work properly i've said this before right if you're going to write the word or sentence i like apples right i like 
apples, right? Period. Or if you want to amplify it, I like apples, right? That's in a sentence, my scrawny type of writing, right? Hopefully you can read that. You don't go and say, I like apples. You don't write it like that. You could try to decipher it that way. It could be a game. Here's a puzzle. What did we say, right? But the point of mathematics is not to make things more difficult, right? It's to solve equations, simplify things. The point of languages is to get your point across, right? You could use languages to create complicated puzzles, but you want to get your idea across, right? Mano. Mano, Mano Steel 99. Hello, hello, Twist. How are you doing? How are you doing today? Doing good. I popped a little cookie. All right. So keep that in mind. Keep your work tight. That's one of the things I try to emphasize with a lot of my students. Right. So if we're trying to isolate the X, instead of moving these guys individually over first, what we're gonna do is simplify each side as much as we can first that's where bed mass kicks in right so bed mass if you're doing this mass if you're doing this when you're simplifying you go this way and if you're going to simplify each side first do brackets first do we have any brackets no exponents no division no multiplication no addition and subtraction yes we do because multiplication and division have the same weight addition and subtraction have the same way doesn't make a difference which way you do them okay so we're going to do our addition and subtraction first well over here let's simplify this well let's do this one first that's a step before this one, right? Seven plus two is nine. Cool. Okay. Three, this is positive three. Remember the mantra sign in front of the number always goes with the number. So this isn't just a regular three, it's a positive three. It's not negative, and this isn't just a four, it's a negative four, right? So positive three minus four, right, is negative one. So we got x minus one right we added one more level of doing the work to simplify at one level for us to be able to move this thing and only move one thing right we're keeping track of less things we're comp compartmentalizing the work right on this side now we move the negative one over it becomes positive one we have x left and nine plus one is ten right and this part is this way we're doing solving okay so when you're solving you deal with the subtraction and addition first and then multiplication and division and then exponents and then brackets well in here we had the addition subtraction we took care of that we ended up with the answer we got none of the other ones we're done right let's do more of these okay we're gonna build it up all the way to multiplying dividing and I'm not gonna introduce any exponents yet but we'll get into the brackets okay now take a look what if we have more complicated I have a question for you for sure twist what's the question before we're gonna whiteboard we've got space here let's do it if it's math math related if it's not post your question and I'll do math and try to answer the question. I'm going to have a sip of tea while we wait for the question. Let's see what it's about. What I'm eating? Cookies. <laughs> I'm going to pop a cookie while we wait. One more cookie. Feed your brain. Uh, 
how would you explain it to someone who solved that for x equals 2 what do you mean i had this issue while tutoring my niece and i couldn't explain it to her well enough for her to grasp it in what way uh to a step so if i give you anything and she gets the wrong answer and puts down x equals 2 or the answer is x equals 2 and you have to explain to them what that means here let's see Essentially, you want your right hand side equals left hand side. Yeah, right hand side equals left hand side. So you had x plus 3. Okay, sure. Let me write that down. Then. X plus 3 minus 4. So we have x plus 3 minus 4 is equal to 7 plus 2. X plus 3 minus 4 is equal to 7 plus 2. So the way we did it, when x minus 1 is equal to 9, grab the 1 over plus 1 so x is equal to 10 so she ends up doing it and she gets x is equal to 2 and this is probably does not understand the x so for this she would do the work and get x equals 2 And she, you want to explain to her why that's wrong? Uh, Ronnie, uh, Ronnie says this, I never liked the whole left-hand side, right-hand side. The position of those numbers can be anywhere and the X would be solved fine sure but every 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 line when you're solving for something every line is equivalent to the previous line right so this line and this line are the same line and the same line so all of these are the same right i just woke up but i see where she messed up <laughs> she did on both sides yeah i was i'm i'm assuming where she messed up was when she did this she would have added this thought that this was seven right so she would have done this and then the seven would have killed the seven so x plus seven is equal to seven plus two she would have misread this thing as a negative put a seven and then brought this guy over minus seven and then you get seven kills seven so you get two if she did that right and that's the one thing uh it's extremely important it's extremely important to be a, to be able to see a student's work as someone as an educator right that's one of the reasons centralized education is so horrendous because a lot of it has to do with uh, what do you call it uh, yes and no or fill in the blanks or uh, what do you call it uh, uh, multiple choice questions right so the only feedback a student can ever get is wrong or right right and the educator in general is not going to be looking at the student's work because all they do is they hand in their multiple choice little sheet thing and they scan right so there is no constructive feedback to students which is just one of the reasons centralized education is just so horrendous okay I haven't done simple math in years. My last math class was calculus three, so she threw me for the yeah. Teaching like gang, trying to teach simple mathematics, just the basics of mathematics up, is a difficult thing to do. Okay. Sometimes more difficult than the more complicated stuff, because the more complicated stuff the person you're talking to has a rudimentary understanding of the language of mathematics. When you're trying to build it from the base up, there is no conceptual understanding of the language of mathematics so it becomes difficult it requires patience right 
have to look at it a little uh, closer. Yeah. Yeah. I hope that I hope that works. Right. So if we're gonna get into more complicated stuff, right here. X minus three plus two minus one plus four is equal to seven plus seven minus two, right? You could do any adding and subtracting in here, right? What do we have? Four, five, this is number six. Line up your equal sign, combine like terms here. Seven plus seven is 14, minus two is 12, negative three. And you can, you can, what you can do is combine things. I've <laughs> put the most, we got a 10 already, I haven't done it yet. <laughs> we got 10 again now. So what you can do is, instead of doing all the operations in one go, if you notice the pattern you got 14 oh somebody's wrong if you if you notice a pattern you can start eliminating things simplifying things so take a look at this thing you got negative three and negative one so minus three and minus one you can think of as negative three and negative one well negative three minus one is negative four plus four is zero the negative four and four kill each other right so this, this, and this are gone. You got a two left, right? Now you can write this here, or you could have done the simplification here and did brought it over here, right? I'm just gonna do it over here instead of doing it here. So you see how it works instead of combining multiple operations in one shot, right? Okay. So we got x plus 2 here, and then bring that over, you get this, you get x equals 10. And that's your answer, right? Student, why do numbers kill each other? They're a war. They cancel each other out. I know. I say kill. Maybe I, I should be saying cancel, but I just, I just math, like, shorter word, less, <laughs> less letters <laughs> when we have null. <laughs> right? And by the way, uh, this may uh, uh, touch on Graham's sort of question. Uh, what was it called? Public something. But I do almost anything to teach kids mathematics, right? And I found where you say negative three and negative one kill four, when you say they kill each other, kids tend to like that more than cancel each other out. So I have students that sometimes they're not really paying attention and they're not into it they like it when we start killing numbers so they pay attention and learn the process even though the word killing is not the best thing to use it's a means to teach mathematics i'm okay with that okay so that's how we deal with adding and subtracting right let's look at multiplication let's do something like this let's do 2x is equal to 8, right? Roast and Putin, as soon as I wrote it down, I knew you knew what that was, right? So whenever you have a number in front of a variable, a number in front of an x, right? That means multiplication. So this really means, this really means 2 times x. But we're not going to, mathematicians are lazy, we're not going to include that, right? So, <laughs> so is the police we should tell the students getting an a means you killed the cars <laughs> maybe <laughs> well we, we do have something like that you know when in sports you do you say oh he killed it or they killed it right or musicians oh man they went on stage their set just they just killed it right it is used uh-huh i would uh, i would be the kin of kid who pay more attention kind of kid who pay more attention if you if you kill numbers yeah so equals is the police equality hi um chicho by the way das 89 how are you doing so over here this is multiplication right two times x is equal to eight what's the opposite of multiplication what's the opposite of multiplication division so to get x by itself right divide this side by two and the equal sign says if you do something on one side you got to do it to the other side you divide this side by two line up your equal sign two kills two you got x on this side eight divided by two is four right 
So what did we do? We didn't have any addition subtraction to deal with. So we just went into multiplication and division and dealt with that, right? Easy peasy. Okay, let's do some more examples. That was number seven. Let's do number eight. Good, thank you. Cleaning the inside of my gaming console while watching you. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Eating cookies, doing mathematics. Life is sweet. And cleaning a console, which console? Which console are you? I haven't cleaned a console forever. Man, I think last time I cleaned the console was a uh, probably a Sega system or something. <laughs> or NES, NES probably, NES. Or N64, N64 is probably the last time I cleaned the console. N64, for sure, N64. So what if we had the following, right? x over 2 is equal to 8 all right well this means division right x divided by 2 is equal to 8 what's the opposite of division gaming computer not my console oh gaming computer okay i gig my computer i cleaned like last year man was it ever dirty yikes i loaded up pictures i would not try that afraid of uh, bronking it x equals 16 did you get it yeah computer uh you need to clean every now and then right so the opposite of division is multiplication so we multiply this side by two equal sign line it up and if you do something on one side you got to do it to the other side eight times two is 16. putin roaster got it and when you're multiplying fractions right x over 2 times 2 that's just 2 over 1 anything from the top can kill anything from the bottom 2 kills 2 you got x left over right the other way you can think about this is this x over 2 times 2 this equals 2x over 2 and the twos kill each other right but i'm just killing the fractions right breaking it sorry i'm french so i sometimes make english <laughs> no worries <laughs> bronking it <laughs> i went bronking it that's a good word for breaking it too right so that makes sense right easy well let's do one that's a little bit more complicated what if we had 2x plus 5 is equal to 8 huh well are we solving or simplifying do we have any simplifying to do on this side we can't combine 2x and 5 it just doesn't work right this doesn't have an x and this is has a variable 1.5 you got it is 1.5 here's an 8 right so if we're solving there's no simplifying to do here if we're solving we do subtraction addition first we can't add or subtract there's nothing to add and subtract here and then we deal oh sorry if we're solving we got an addition here we got to deal with right so simplifying we're going this way solving we're going this way so we're going to grab this guy and bring it over so we're dealing with subtraction and addition first this becomes minus 5 8 minus 5 is 3 over here we got 2x now what we got to do is deal with the multiplication division and we've got a multiplication so divide by 2 divide by 2 so x is equal to 3 over 2 which is 1.5 as Putin Roaster says right let's do a couple more which were more complicated okay that was number 9 let's do number 10 number 10 let's go 2x plus 5 minus 3 plus 4x is equal to 8 plus 2 all right whoa much longer i sort of start off simple and i kick things up to harders first mine cc how are you doing welcome to our live stream put next did you figure it out yet so do the simplifying first either side four over three cool you're you're our double checker make sure making sure we do it right so you're going to simplify each side first brackets so you're going to simplify this side simplify that side line up your equal sign brackets exponents no we've got division multiplication no we've got addition subtractions yep eight plus two is ten 
And then we got 2x plus 4x, combine your like terms, right? 2x plus 4x is 6x. And then you got positive 5 minus 3, that becomes positive 2, right? So we took care of simplifying each side first. There's nothing else to simplify here, nothing to simplify here. We go into solving, we go this way. Take care of addition subtraction first. Well, there's an addition here. Let's move it over, it becomes minus. 8 minus 2 is 8. Oh, sorry, 10 minus 2 is 8, and we've got 6x left, left here. No more adding, subtracting, then we've got division multiplication. Divide this side by 6, divide this side by 6. So x is equal to 8 over 6, but you can simplify that because 2 goes into both of them. So let me write down 8 over 6, and let's do this over here. We've done a lot of videos on these. I haven't done it in this live stream in this order first because I wanted to get into the equal sign right away. Okay, but do this. Eight, break down eight, eight into its prime factors. Two times four, two times two. Six, break down six into its prime factors. Two times three. So this equation is really eight over six is really two times two times two divided by 2 times 3 and anything divided by itself they kill each other right so this is a multiplication between all these so 2 kills 2 nothing else simplifies so 2 times 2 is 4 and in the bottom you got a 3 so it's 4 over 3 that's the long way of doing that right once you do two or three of these then you know the rest the flow is it is right so 4 over 3 we got double confirmation mine C so let's do more complicated. Okay. Let's add a bracket in there. Let's add a bracket in there. 2, 3x minus 1 is equal to 4 plus 7. Okay. So what are we going to do? We're going to simplify first, right? Because we can. We can simplify this side. We can simplify this side. Right? So we're going to deal with brackets first. Do we have brackets? Yes, we do. What does a number in front of brackets mean? It means the number in front multiplies. And did you do it already? It's Speedy Gonzalez. So the 2 multiplies here and multiplies here. Line up your equal sign. So 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So we have no more brackets. No brackets there. Exponents, no. Division, multiplication, no. We've got addition, subtraction. Yep. 4 plus 7 is 11 cool we got nothing else no simplifying to do so we're going to solve for it we're going to go into solving so we finished the simplifying we came all the way to here and now we're going to go into solving right so we came to simplifying and now we're going into solving okay solving we're going to deal with addition subtraction oh we got a subtraction bring it over becomes addition so you got 13 on this side on this side you got 6x Oh, Putin next. Did you do? Oh, you did it wrong at first. Oh, that's where speed gets you. Speed kills you. <laughs> right? So now we gotta get x by itself. This is six times x. So divide by six is 13 over six. And this doesn't simplify anymore. Right? Speed kills. Okay. Easy? Easy. Right? undo what's being done to the x what's being done to the x is being multiplied by three one is being subtracted while the whole thing is being multiplied by two well if we're gonna undo what's being done to it we have to go with solving right or sorry sim we did simplifying first and then we're down to here undo what's being done you do the solving you get the chest right mind c memorize multiplication table is the most difficult thing is it Multiplication table should be easy to memorize because there's a pattern to it. You don't have to know the whole table. You just have to know half the table and that half the table you just generate. You generate it enough, you know the words. Like, did you have to memorize the alphabet? Yeah, at some point we memorized A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Right? At some point we had to memorize it. But once you end up using it, a lot it's just part of your dialogue right 
it's difficult after 12 it's difficult I don't memorize after 12 I just do well more so more so who came up with the ordering of alphabet I don't know I don't know my guess would be linguists right my guess would be linguists so let's do one more okay what number was that 10 11 let's do number 11 what are we gonna add well let's do this I'm gonna make it more difficult we're gonna take a huge step forward right so number 11 2 x minus 1 divided by 5 plus 3 let's go minus minus 3 times 2x plus 4 is equal to 4x minus 1 all of it divided by 2 and I'm doing this because I want to show you the the rhythm of this right now this is more difficult than what we should be able to do I wouldn't usually kick it up to this level but I want to just end this section with this and then get into the chat and see uh, if we want to go anywhere else with this right so there's a rhythm in this right you could deal with the brackets first if you want or whenever I see this personally when I see fractions I multiply the whole equation by the common denominator which I haven't shown you guys this in this math session but we've done a lot of this stuff previously in the previous math videos we've done right multiply the whole equation by the common denominator the common denominator is 10 what's the common denominator between 5 and 2 10 so you multiply everything by 10 all the terms there's three terms here one term two terms three terms. so 10 multiplies this multiplies this multiplies this put did you get it did you get a twist let's check it out so the reason we're gonna multiply by 10 is because the denominator dies the 10 kills the 2 right 2 goes into 10 five times 5 now multiplies the top this side take a look at this thing I'm gonna do this thing on the side so 4x minus 1 divided by 2 times 10 that's 10 over 1 2 goes into 10 5 times so it's really just 5 multiplying this and that so this becomes 20x minus 5 okay twist you say negative 119 over 76 eh let's check it out over here 10 multiplies this it becomes 30 times 2x plus 4 the 10 doesn't multiply the inside because this is one term it just multiplies what's on the outside of the bracket okay let me make this so it looks better this one 2 bracket x minus 1 times 5 the 5 knocks the 10 down to 2 so it's just 2 multiplying this so this becomes 4 on the outside x minus 1 now we got more simplifying to do we're going to deal with the brackets first line up your equal sign 4 multiplies in negative 30 multiplies in so this is 4x minus 4 minus 60x minus 120 this is 20x minus 5 we're still in the simplifying phase we're going to simplify each side first line up your equal sign combine your like terms okay 4x minus 60x is negative 56x negative 4 minus 120 is negative 124 we got 20x minus 5 now when you're trying to solve for x it means you need to get all the x's to one side and have the result being x equals something right well we have x's on this side we've got x's on this side and we've got a number on this side and a number on this side so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this 20x bring it over it becomes minus 20x i'm going to grab this negative 124 bring it over it becomes plus 124 line up your equal sign negative 56x minus 20x is negative 76x negative 76x 124 minus 5 is 119 right twist you got it correct very good 
<laughs> my my C says I'm slow. That's okay. That's okay. This is not about speed, by the way, right? That's one of the other reasons centralized education is so horrendous. They put people under the clock. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done fast. Well then, what? Why are you speeding things up? The first thing they teach you when you learn how to drive is speed kills. Well, if speed is so dangerous that it kills, why are they forcing students to react rapidly? Crazy, right? I do mine quite differently, teacher. Do you? I use fractions the whole way. You use fractions the whole way. Cool, cool, cool. I don't like memorizing or doing quickly. I prefer intuition. Yeah. You sacrifice accuracy for the sake of speed. You sacrifice accuracy for the sake of speed, which is well speed kills right and then you divide by negative 76 you divide by negative 76 so x is equal to negative 119 over 76 and that is your answer and honestly gang if you're doing mathematics in school when you're doing problems when you get to the end circle your answer your teacher will thank you for it your markers will thank you for it that way they don't have to decipher your high look glyphics to find out what the answer is they automatically see it it makes their job easier make their job easier and gang thank you for the follows uh appreciate the support okay that's basically sort of a intro to solving for x dealing with the equal sign okay i lost points because my handwriting were so fat yeah yeah 200 iq yeah i did too there was a for me the math i didn't have that much of a problem with because i always circled it right but for me my handwriting was so horrendous that in grade nine i believe i think it was grade nine i handed an essay and at the time we didn't have computers that you type stuff you had to handwrite it right i handed an essay once in english class and the day the teacher was giving all the essays back she handed everyone's essays back and she didn't hand mine back so i went up to her and i asked her i go um where's my essay she goes oh here you go and it said zero <laughs> I went, what he gave me zero he goes i can't read your writing because i was doing writing like horrendous right like 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 i can't even do it now like script right and i was like but that's the way i write like that's how i learn like how could you give me zero like and english was my third language so i learned how to read and write english slowly in grade five and grade six by the time i got into grade nine i was semi okay with it but not very good do you think it's possible for anything to travel faster than the speed of light speed wise no but i'm pretty sure there's warping we talked about ronnie i got a video out there regarding uh, do chicho speed of light you'll find a video where i'm talking about einstein's um, paper on the electrodynamics of moving bodies and why we can't travel to the speed of light it's an asmr video and i talk about uh this concept for about i think it's about half an hour 45 minute video um it's cool and you know i didn't know how to print in english please in english please <laughs> right and then i was like well this is the only way i can write like this is my writing this is like first i knew english for five how many years uh, let's say i learned how to write basically slowly in grade six seven eight so in, for three years i was writing like this three four three years i was writing and she was saying no and i did another essay handed it in zero again <gasps> i'm like damn i'm gonna fail grade nine english so i learned how to print solve you know chicho so i don't know how to do script anymore i just print right i had to adjust it was a pain in the ass man so slow i got deducted 20 percent on my test because I, I used a different formula to solve the answer but got the oh my uh, coder z coder those types of teachers educators people should be fired as far as i'm concerned i have students that they do 
they get the right answer and the teacher deducts marks for them. Here, I'll, I'll give you an example. Watch this. Watch this. One of them is uh, factoring complex trinomials. I teach a different method than the, every school, right? I've had teachers mark an assignment, a test zero, even though the person got everything correct, right? Here's another one that a recent student of mine was deducted marks for, right? Watch this, two X is equal to eight. We did this, right? So you divide both sides by two, divide both sides by two, so X equals four. I teach my students this way, right? I say two X is equal to eight. You're gonna divide both sides by two. You're gonna divide both sides by two, divide by two. Draw one line, put one, two, right? X is equal to four. Teacher said wrong. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> <All right. laughs> I laughed. He didn't have mercy. Das. My handwriting is really hard to understand too. So you're not alone. Yeah. Ronnie, because I was thinking if objects from an exploded star traveled faster, we'd get uh, hit by the debris while the star, if visible from the naked eye, would still be intact. Yeah. That would be a trip, wouldn't it? That'd be a trip, but there's nothing stopping those asteroids going through a wormhole and popping up in our atmosphere and killing everybody. Twist. No one uses script or cursive anymore outside of us. Uh, yeah, they don't anymore, do they? Too bad. I really liked script. I really did, but they got it out of me. They got it out of me. I guess I couldn't be a doctor no more, right? My doctor career was over in grade nine. <laughs> Not that I would ever be. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org or check out our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on SensorTube. Can you can you reach a method for factoring higher degree polynomials? Sure. Uh, teach teach a method. Uh, synthetic division. There is a triangle. Das. Uh, you make me remember that in my second grade, I use a fourth grade method to calculate something and got zero because it was the wrong formula, but my answer was right. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, usually I'm teaching my students higher level than where they are in school, right? So we have to talk about it. And sometimes I say, listen, you know how to do this with like the quadratic formula factoring but don't use it because you haven't been taught that and my students are usually but it's a lot easier why would i do that i go look man you want to get the marks or you don't want to get the marks up to you you haven't learned it yet you can do it for one of them just to test the teacher out see if he'll give you the marks for it or not but get the mark uh high degree polynomials right take a look and by the way i have if you do chicho synthetic division I have a whole series of videos out there on how to do synthetic division. Okay, so it's called synthetic division. Synthetic division. Okay, so that's what you use to factor higher degree polynomials, right? But here's one. Let's do one. Okay. Now, I don't know if it's going to be factorable. We're just going to have to try it out, right? But let's assume we had this. X to the power of 5 minus 3X cubed plus 2X squared minus X plus 2. Okay? So we want to factor this. And the reason I made it a 5 is because uh, odd power will guarantee we have at least one X intercept. Now, I can't guarantee that it's going to be um what do you call it an integer okay or a rational number right or an irrational number or from the real number set 
um, or actually we want it to be if you're doing it manually you want it to be uh, from a, a rational number right long time no see old friend taco operator how are you doing long time long time welcome to no last stream mathematics your, your net crashed oh no so the way you factor these things polynomials that are higher degree the first numbers you try are factors of the last number divided by the factors of the first number now there's a one in front of this right so possible factors of this that could that are that could be rational numbers is this possible factors of two is plus or minus one and plus and minus two divided by possible factors of one is plus and minus one now plus or minus one is just plus doesn't change this the above not factorable not factorable isn't it <laughs> crap i pick one that wasn't factorable isn't it a twist did you go to uh wolfram or what do you call it well it is factorable it will cross the x-axis once but it just means it's not a uh what do you call it factorable manually right but we're going to try this anyway i'm going to show how it works and then we're going to try we've got four numbers here we can try plus and minus one and plus and minus two so what you end up doing is this take the coefficients in front of the variables sequentially from the highest degree first down now if you're missing any of the degrees and we're missing x to the power of four right it's a great example though it's a great example cool so if we're missing x to the power of four you have to fill in a zero so the coefficient in front here is one x to the power of four is missing so go zero x to the power of three the coefficient is negative three and then two and then negative one in front of the x right and then plus two and what we're going to try it just can't be taken all the way it just can't be taken all the way okay cool that's good so this guy we're going to try these and what these mean is x equals plus one minus one plus two or minus two now if all of these things were pluses you wouldn't even bother trying the pluses because you knew you know that this is never going to equal zero because that's what it means to be able to factorable right because what you're trying to do if this is f of x if this is factorable then it crosses the x-axis so f of x is zero and this will never equal zero if all of these things are positive and you try a positive number but because these things flip between positive and negative i'm going to try x equals one first equals one which means x minus one is a factor okay so the way you do it is bring this guy down one multiply it by this guy one times one is one add them up you get one multiply by one so every time you go diagonal up you're multiplying by this number here okay by one one times one is one negative two negative two times one is negative two zero cool times one is zero add them up you get negative one multiplied by one is negative one you add them up you get one that's not equal to zero if it equals zero then x equals one would be an x intercept and x minus one would have been a factor of this but what this means is the following if x is equal to one for f of x let me write down f of x so you see it properly let me erase this okay f of x what we got here is this that's what this number means it means if x is equal to one for this function y is equal to one you just found a point on the graph okay so what we did we just went f of one is equal to one that's a point we didn't want a point on the graph we wanted to find the x intercepts you'd be amazing to have any intelligent conversation thanks ronnie i don't know if any would be the right word let's try negative one x is equal to negative one right so let's punch in these numbers again one zero negative three two negative one and two so this means x plus one 
So bring 1, multiply by negative 1 is negative 1, add them up, you get negative 1, multiply by negative 1 is 1, add them up, you get negative 2, multiply by negative 1 is 2, add them up, you get 4, multiply by negative 1 is negative 4, add them up, you get negative 5, multiply by negative 1 is 5, add them up, you get 7. That doesn't work. What did that mean? If x, it's okay. It's okay. This means f of negative 1 is equal to 7. So that's not 0, so it's not a factor. Right? We've got two, number, two more numbers we can try. Positive 2 and negative 2. x is equal to 2. Write down these numbers again. Right? 1, 0, negative 3, 2, negative 1, 2. This means x minus 2. 1, multiply by 2, 2, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 14, 16. Damn, that's not close. So this means f of 2 is equal to 16. That's another point on the graph. Let's try negative two. We'll, I'll try to fit it in down here so you see all in one shot, right? Da, 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 da. X equals negative two. Can you see all those? Yep, perfect. One, zero, negative three, two, negative one, two. And this means X plus two. So you get one, negative two, negative two, four, one, negative two, zero, zero um what do we got negative one times negative two is two and four. Oh, that didn't work either right so f of negative two is equal to four what you just found was four points on this graph right and if we're going to put it in there here let's graph it up top take down synthetic division off we didn't find any of the factors, right? So we can't do it manually, right? Well, you probably could, but you can't use synthetic division. So we found one and one. Let's assume that's one and one. That's a point on the graph. Negative one and seven, negative one and seven. Let's say that's seven. Two and 16, two and 16 is like way up there. And then negative two and four, negative two and four, somewhere here. Now, what's the y-intercept? Y-intercept is set x is equal to zero this disappears disappears y intercept is two right. and then you need to find an x intercept you can find different points you can do calculus take the derivative of this find the inflection points the concavity of it with the second derivative and be able to graph this thing right but it takes effort it takes effort right there's different concepts that you need i hope that helps what you were looking for for this to equal zero because if this equals zero it would have been f of negative two equals zero then you're on the x-axis you found the factor All right does that help i hope so i hope so fun fun that's good mathematics today there's a triangle where is there a triangle what do you mean there's a triangle How's the triangle? I like synthetic division. It's very meditative. Very meditative. What mass are we doing today, uh, then gamers? <laughs> Clue. Yes, sir. Can you change the last number to one instead of zero and show how it pans out uh pounds out if uh pounds out of its successful the last number to zero this one yeah if this is equal to zero i mean uh one instead of two one instead of two. Oh, this one yeah, if you change this one to one, here, uh, if that's what you mean, if you say, let's say you want to find f of zero, right? 
So that means you want to find f of x is y. You want to find y, okay, when x is 0. So you sub in 0 for x. So 0 to the power of 5 is 0. 3 times 0, 0, 0, 0. So you just get 2. And if that was 1, you would get 1. So it would be on the y-axis. But it's a 2. That's your y-intercept. So when x is 0, when x is 0, y is 2. I hope that's what you meant. Pascal. Oh, Pascal's triangle. That's right. That is meditation. It is. <laughs> black light. <laughs> Turn off the black light, man. <laughs> and gang, don't forget. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org or check out our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on Censortube. Gang, should we call the stream? Let's call the stream. Let's call the stream. Fun time, fun time. And whoop. And tomorrow we're doing readings. Oh man, black light. Tomorrow we're doing reading from Terence McKenna's Fruit of the Gods, right? And I've only read a few pages of that. And I've been meaning to read it for a long time. So what we're going to do with that book is just basically ask chat what page you want to go to. And we'll go to that page and I'll pick a paragraph and read that paragraph. So we're going to jump all over. It's going to be like a lottery. Right, maybe we get some goodies, right? Ronnie, thanks, man. I appreciate your knowledge, but my pleasure, man. It's it, it, what we know is meant for sharing, right? So we need free flow of information. Oh, damn, Terrence McKenna, that's exciting. Dub Weaver, indeed. We're gonna read some Terrence McKenna. Well, man, I hope he uses his English. He was a master, master at communicating the way he spoke. And the way he writes is brilliant so i hope i can do it justice because he uses some words that are like wacko it's like very poetic right so i'm very excited about it i hope i can do a good job right so tomorrow morning we're doing terrence mckenna reading gang okay black light youtube uh yeah it's the end of the stream when the camera goes out of focus <laughs> awesome stream awesome stream thank you for being here gang and gang if you want to know what this is about i am i am on patreon clue sure you're so good at explaining wish i could sit with you for some more math first time i hopped into your stream ah you're welcome 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 uh it was delightful i'm struggling with some topics for an upcoming entrance exam can i share some of those in your next math oh for sure clue for sure clue we we do one math stream every set that i announce dub weaver thank you very much for the twitch prime sub das thanks for the stream always nice to hang out with smart always nice to hang out with people man talking about everything fruit stream is what i need yeah and thursday we do food and uh, clue we do one math stream every set that i announce i sort of don't have a set schedule i announce sets and if you follow the stuff on patreon you don't i don't put anything behind paywall everything's creative commons right so you can just follow and you'll get notifications on the set of streams what streams i've scheduled in for like a week or week and a half and in those there will be a math stream for this set this was the math stream so expect the next one in a couple of weeks i guess and i have a brother sister i have hundreds of videos on sensor tube okay and i've dealt with a lot of mathematics taught a lot of mathematics there's some some of it is the best explanation i'm tooting my own horn but some of the best explanation you'll have regarding certain topics so if you're looking for something specific you can come to our discord page we can direct you or i'll try to direct you if i've done it to on a video that can explain uh what it is that we're doing and you're definitely welcome to the live streams the live streams are phenomenal i love them all right joe how are you doing the last time i encountered synthetic division i had i had to learn the remainder and factor theorem yeah a remainder factor theorem says this if the n number is not zero then that means 
it's the remainder which means it's what y is when x is this if it's zero it means it's the factor it means y is equal to zero when x is this the remainder theorem and the factor theorem are the same thing <laughs> that's the kicker right they just came up with two different words for it but if you understand what it is it just says that if this is zero it's a factor if it's not zero it's what y is when x is that right it's it's just crazy they both went completely over my head i actually have a video uh, uh, joe there's one video i did with a cinematographer friend of mine that saw what i was doing regarding the mathematics and he said chicho i want to do a collaboration with you let me find it for you because i'm very proud of that video okay uh chicho factor the or rem and he ended up shooting it and editing it okay and it's very professional and we put this baby out when did we put this out 2011 fun stuff and he's a phenomenal guy man phenomenal guy i wish we we'd done more stuff together but here this will explain the remainder theorem and a factor theorem to you okay aside from that gang you want to follow the work you want to support the work patreon is a great way to do so gang those of you who are supporting this work on patreon thank you for the support and i'm sure others thank you as well we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at and gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for being here and mods thank you for taking care of business elder god i'm looking at you awesome awesome good night that was a pleasantly nice way to end my day awesome clue 10 years 10 years ago 10 years ago <laughs> i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor hello minds vk gab and twitter and we do have a discord page where people are sharing a lot of information okay and you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want type an exclamation mark social and all those links will pop up including our invitation to our discord page at the bottom here dub weaver thanks chicho uh see you tomorrow for mckenna awesome awesome uh for live streams when we don't have any visuals i do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho is a podcast and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this live stream this video to sensor tube to bit and to rumble and if we have enough points to odyssey and for those of you that are supporting this work on those platforms thank you very much for the support gang and if you're on youtube you want to support this work you can join youtube membership and there's a button down here there's a handful of you that are supporting this work on that platform and thank you very much for the collective support gang it is in large part because of your support that we're still here still producing work and have a long ways to go yet which is fantastic aside from that tomorrow terence mckenna let's read some terence mckenna bye everyone i hope you have a fantastic day